All right, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just have a video on the Victorinox rucksack that I just picked up. Uh, I've been wanting this knife for quite some time. Seems like a good, excuse me, uh, a folding knife, just uh, lighter than my Leatherman multi-tool or my Swiss Champ. Uh, I mean, I could take this as my folder with a fixed blade because uh, it's got the, a good, decent size. Uh, locking blade and uh, a bunch of other cool tools which plain old folders don't have so it's a plus um, all right let's get started uh, first off actually sorry uh, first off apologize for the shadows it's getting dark outside so I had to use my lamp um, and also I'm a little sick so if I sound weird uh, apologize all right um, although this camera also makes my voice sound weird to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Alright, the handles are a um, plastic like the other kind, other uh, Victorinox, but if you can see, it's a little matte, a little bit more matte, matte finish, uh, duller than the standard, if you can kind of tell, but it almost, it's not polished smooth. This one's kind of, looks like it has texturing on it, but it's really not textured at all although they do offer textured ones uh, but they only come in the uh, reverse liner lock and uh, I didn't really like that reverse liner lock even though I'll explain later why it might be a little bit better um, all right uh, first the tools it's got a large high polished uh, locking blade I'll just uh, compare to you to the standard size that's on every other Swiss Army knife. Uh, yeah, much bigger. Uh, so it's a little more purposeful. Um, came very sharp like they always do. Um, the nail nick to uh, deploy it. It's uh, got the writing on both sides. Full flat ground pen style blade. Uh, Good for, um, at least what, with my experience with the Swiss Champ, good for uh, whittling, uh, food prep, um, camp chores, basically. Uh, and, you know, paper cutting, EDC stuff. Um, so, basically, the lock is a uh, textured uh, button, basically. You pull down, and if you can see in there, oops, where am I? There we go. I should go get a magnifying glass, but... You can kind of see movement there. I'll explain. Basically, there's a pin in there. It's kind of even hard for me to see right now. Uh, that moves over top of the blade so that it can't close. Um, basically, like the a uh, access lock from Benchmade. And uh, um, it seems pretty stu sturdy. It's a pretty thick little piece of metal in there. Um, but the one thing is, if you press down on the blade, I don't know if you can hear that. There's a little bit of movement within there, although, like lockbacks, uh, they have the same problem. Uh, example, my Gerber uh, Gator folder uh, has movement up and down, so it's kind of, it annoys me when I cut. Um, but for this one, there's only movement downwards, not upwards, so when I'm cutting, uh, I don't feel it, so it's not really a big deal to me. I still feel that this will, will hold up um, and not fail um, with normal duty stuff, not abusing or anything. Uh, I'm not sure about the uh, the other style, the lock liner lock that you... Basically, it's two-handed. That's what I would do. I wouldn't try one-handed. Um, it would basically just be like a two-handed uh, closing, uh, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure that that one is um, a little bit more sturdier. It won't have any of that uh, little bit of movement. Um, I don't know about side to side play. This one doesn't have any. Uh, they'd probably be the same. So maybe if you don't mind, you know, although this one, granted, is is also a two handed uh, closing because it's still has uh, a stiff um, lock bar. I mean, uh, um, spring on the top. Um, so. I don't know. It's it's uh, they offer that wa the uh, one the one-handed trekkers are in the uh, reverse, and also there's a model that's similar to this with the same uh, blade because I like this a little bit better than the 
the one with the one-handed opening. Uh, it's a it's a Swiss Army knife. I really don't care to open it um, one-handed. Um, uh, that one it had a gr texture grip on it. Um, I don't know how well that one would be. Um, maybe try it in the future. Uh, Cause uh, maybe I'll like that, but um, time will tell. Uh, I like it that one better, but uh, so that's the first tool. Sorry, it took forever. Next is the saw. Um, very large. Let me just show you a comparison. Oops, that's the uh, fish scaler. Once again, it dwarfs the uh, standard Swiss. I mean, standard saw. Um, but um, I mean, this one still can you know do quite a bit of work. But this one uh, is just much better for limbs. Um, this one does not lock. It's just very sturdy. Um, slip joint uh, for um, those people out there that uh, that like to make um, bow drill sets or just um, have made them before this is an excellent tool to have with you compared paired with a, uh, a fixed blade to split the um, fireboard you will you will be able to um, I guess you could um, that would be basically the only thing you'd need the fixed blade for uh, thinking about it, um, you would have the saw to be able to saw like the S shapes, um, limb down, uh, and then also the saw would be perfect for notching, um, the V out for the, uh, embers to fall down into your tinder. Um, also the saw would be good for if you're making bows to do not, or just small notching in general, or just cutting small, uh, branches. And then I'll just go right to it from the back. Since we're on the bow drill, this uh, sewing on the all hole puncher, uh, basically you punch holes through pretty much anything, leather, and it's got a sewing eye. Um, I tried this on a piece of wood, perfect for making the divots to start your um, fire, on the fireboard to start the, uh, where you spin the uh, spindle, perfect for starting that versus using the tip of your blade of your fixed blade. Um, so just keep in mind, I mean, it's obviously just as convenient to bring a fixed blade and do that, but, um, just having that, because I've never had a use for this tool on my, uh, other Swiss Army knife until I realized how good that would be for. Um, so keep in mind that would be awesome for that, for the people that like to make, uh, bow drill sets. All right, next is the Phillips, I mean, flathead screwdriver, pardon me, uh, can opener, I mean, uh, bottle opener and wire stripper. Um, it locks, or it doesn't lock, but it's it's um, got a little spot in the slip joint part, uh, the back spring that um, keeps it in place at a 90 degree angle for um, however, which way you want to uh, screw in your uh, screws. So that's handy. Um, Last on the front is the uh, um, can opener uh, slash small fine uh, flathead screwdriver. Um, good for, uh, it's probably one of the be better uh, can openers um, for multi-tools, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's. Also, forgot to mention on this, uh, you can do a little bit of light prying with this um, flathead screwdriver. Um, I mean light, because you don't want to... Um, flex it, make it loose, that would just be bad. Um, on the back, I already showed you the the awl, which kind of flexes backwards, so you have to be careful. Um, then, last on the back is the can opener. I mean, not can, what am I saying? The uh, bottle opener for wine, or untie, you can use this to untie knots, or... Um, uh, basically, that was all I would use it for is untying knots since I cannot drink. Um, next is a toothpick. Never really use those just because I uh, never really wanted to clean my teeth. Uh, tweezers. Uh, clean my teeth with these, sorry. Uh, uh, tweezers, um, good for getting out splinters, ticks, great for having in the wild, in the bush. Um, basically, that's it.
um, on this, the tools on this, on this knife. Uh, I didn't really get anything special because there is um, a, several other models that have more tools on them. One being the Hercules, which I kind of liked. Uh, it's got the scissors and the pliers and a few more extra small tools. Um, it would be nice, but it's fairly thick, and I kind of wanted to go with like the, the basic tools that I thought, other than maybe scissors, but for most cutting stuff, I can just use a knife. Because uh, the last time I got this one, uh, it's kind of a bulky item to carry, so I didn't want to get every gizmo, just the basic ones for, you know, a good outdoor um, Swiss Army knife. Um, there are several other models uh, similar to this that I would like to also get that are uh, bare minimum for me. Uh, so those will be um, future Swiss Army knives to get. Uh, as you saw, I have a, a little lanyard on here. Nothing special, just a cord lock. Um, keep it in this sheath that I had sitting around. Uh, my, I like to carry this knife like this versus just dumping it in my pocket. So uh, there you go, you can see. So 